my channel and welcome to another Disneyland vlog. I am so excited to be back filming and also back in Disneyland. It has been the longest two and a half years <laughs> since we've been here. Horrendous. 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 But we are back. I'm so, so, so excited to be here for one day. For one day only. One day. Lockdown was horrific, not being able to come back. And this honestly was the only thing getting us through, knowing that one day we could come back. And I know that <laughs> sounds ridiculous, but honestly, the thought of coming back to Disneyland when all of lockdown was finished was just the thing that got us through. Yeah. yeah. Through the darkest of days. The only thing that kept us going. <laughs> the only thing that kept us going. We both had a pretty tough couple of years. Now, we're cured. Now we're cured. <laughs> we have dressed for one weather only, which is what we want the Disney weather to be, which is warm. So we're in shorts and t-shirts. Yeah. This is our outfit of the day. I'll show your outfit of the day. I'm wearing a baggy oversized vintage t-shirt that Zoe got me for Christmas two years ago, a year ago. Yeah. Which says the Walt Disney Studios. It is original of someone owned it who worked there. So original <laughs> someone that worked it owned this t-shirt and now I wear it. <laughs> what are these called? Bike shorts. Bike shorts. And white trainers. Ooh. And a bum bag. Most important, what's on your head? These are my new Mickey ears. Mickey that. ears? Yeah. Mini. It's not okay. <laughs> I got these for Zoe and I for Christmas and they're blue and glittery and they're so beautiful we've never worn them and so it's fresh. the first time. Fresh. Fresh. Show us your outfit. I have a Tinkerbell t-shirt, vintage and bike shorts as well and then trainers. So basically we're wearing the same <laughs> outfit. Okay, let's go and explore. Yeah, we're actually here for more than one day. We're here for uh, three days and two nights, but it's a surprise. But I will fill you in on that later. So normally the first thing we do, without fail, when we first get into the park is go on Small World. We found out last night before we got here, which is a good thing, I think, because yeah, otherwise okay. I think we would have had a mental breakdown. Uh, is Small World just closed for refurbishment for a year? So <laughs> we're gonna go show, show you what it looks like. Oh my God, can you see it? It looks like a no, it's building site. <laughs> Our routine is off. Normally we come in, go on Small World, then go on Peter Pan, and I don't even know where to start. We could do Peter Pan, but it just feels wrong. It feels wrong! Here is the tragic view of Small World. Um, I can't wheel, go queen. That's it, that is, that, that's the ride.
my first time trying the cheddar hot dog with bacon and crispy onions it looks so good we've come back here where we always come casey's corner and we were trying to get chicken nuggets in the shape of a star like they're just in the shape of a chicken nugget it's time for zoe's favorite cue not ride, Q. What is this music? I don't know. But as you said earlier, we don't have the rights. <laughs> Um, weirdly, it's our first time ever. We've never done this one. We've just paid for fast passes for it. <laughs> Hope it's good. <laughs> but that was quite possibly the funniest thing that we've done. That was so fun. We went in separate cars, it was just so good. We'll be doing that again before we go. <laughs> when we were walking towards it, we were like, this is never gonna be fun. It's just driving really slow cars and you can't do anything in them. The route didn't look good. Like, the route didn't look good, really look but that was just so funny. Just watching Zoe, just like super slow in a little car with her little ears. Oh my God. I'm gonna do it again before we leave. Hello, so Zoe's just gone to buy me a hot chocolate and I'm quickly jumping on here because she thinks we're here for one day. I have surprised her again. I, if you've watched any of my videos before, I always try and surprise her when we come to Disneyland with something a little bit extra. It's been really hard to think of new ways to do that. <laughs> for example, once I told her we were going to Disneyland Paris, we actually went to Disneyland California, which was actually, that was a bit of a disaster because it was her first long haul flight and she really freaked out. But anyway, it was all fine in the end. We did it one year where I said we were only here for a day and then going back to London and then we were actually staying here for two nights. I couldn't think of a way to surprise her this time because I've done it all. She now is so like, but are we staying? Are we not? Just a bit wised up. Anyway, because we haven't been here for so long and because I haven't really earned any money in so long, watch back to one of my other videos if you've missed where I've been, off, why I've been off YouTube and all that kind of stuff not working. She definitely thinks I didn't have the money to like book a long stay here. I told her that we were only here for one day again, but I have had to make it so convincing and I actually have made it so convincing I've had fake confirmation emails. I've showed her that I've checked in the luggage somewhere. I've actually checked into a hotel through the Disney Express thing. She thinks it's just in a locker somewhere. She thinks we've got two more nights in Paris. I've made up a fake hotel in Paris that we're staying at tonight. So I've really gone to town to make a fake situation for her. Because I've surprised her so many times, I genuinely think this is one of the last times I can surprise her, short of literally just turning up one day and being like, we're going to Disneyland today. So she knew we were coming for one day. She's literally like, come on, we need to go and do everything. We're leaving today. And I'm literally like, we've got three days. But I can't say that. Anyway, I don't know how to tell her. It's been stressing me out all day. I want her to be surprised. I want to catch it on camera so you guys can see. I don't know if she knows. I really hope she hasn't. She doesn't know. Literally have pulled this money out of my savings account to surprise her. Because we haven't been in so long and this is just such a happy place for us. As I said in my intro, this has got us through lockdown. Being able to come back here and I know that sounds so stupid. But it really has. We've both had a really tough couple of years. So just coming back here and being able to be here together and here for three days is just like a dream and so magical and I don't care if I'll be unbelievably poor for the rest of the summer it's worth it for us because this is just such a happy place it's about 3 30 and the park doesn't shut till 11 tonight so I've got some time to surprise her before taking her back to one of the hotels rather than dragging her back to Paris which is she thinks is what I'm doing so we'll see so because we enjoyed it 
it so much the first time. We've actually paid to go and do Autopia again. <laughs> it's now probably one of my favorite rides. It was, I think it was just the fact that we were in separate cars and I could just see Zoe's ears like around the course and it was just, it was so funny. I hope you get your little ugly yellow car. No, I want a pink car. I'm going, I want a pink car. I won't be happy unless I get a pink car. Okay. We've got here half an hour early as always. We've got a reasonably good seat, not the best, but cost behind us. I can't explain to you how excited it's been two and a half years since we've seen this parade and we sing it often at home alone. <laughs> Burger for dinner. All the restaurants we wanted to go to were closed, which was so bizarre. Oh, smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Zoe's just caressing her cheeseburger. <laughs> and we're watching cartoons. Burger was slightly disappointing, so we've got some Nutella crepes. Yummy. Found this cute little piazza to sit in, didn't we? Cute little piazza. View the castle. Okay, open. Open. Did you not know? <laughs> yeah. Did you not know? Did you actually not know? Oh, I really thought you knew this time. Are you excited? <laughs> How oh, the brightest of bright. Oh, my spirits have been risen. Yes, <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> I've just told her it's too. I thought she'd read the ticket, but she only thought we were staying for another day because she doesn't know what date it is. But we're actually going home on Friday. Today's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Take home a mini balloon! <laughs> you can take home a mini balloon. <laughs> okay, well there's your present. <laughs> I think she's pleased. But sometimes that inner child needs an invitation to come out and play. This is your invitation to dream.
Good morning from day two. We are in the park. It is about 9.30. We tried to get in for magic hours, but we were late. We were in Starbucks. <laughs> I stood in that queue instead of different queue. But that's okay, because we've got the whole day here. It doesn't close until 11 p.m., so it's not like we're short on time. We're ready for day two. Super excited. We're gonna go to the studios. We're currently in Disneyland Park. We're gonna do a couple of rides here and then head over to the studios. Yay! We're also wearing matching vests today. I don't know if you can see that because it's so bright, I actually can't see what I'm filming. And as always, I'm carrying a bag. <laughs> and Zoe just walks around like <laughs> a child. A child. <laughs> it's really sunny. It's meant to get to like 27 today. Right, first ride of the day. Where are we going? Buzz! Discovery Land. We're going on Buzz Lightyear, hopefully if there's not a long queue. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. I love this girl's ears. They're so cute. No, they're not that good. I love them. Wow. We're in the cute photo here again. <laughs> this is my new favourite ride. I've been on it three times. <laughs> Walt Disney Studios. First time in two and a half years. Yeah. I'm so excited. What have you got here? A raclette and ham sandwich. Yummy. The cheese is melting out this end. Just had this raclette and ham baguette and it was so good. It was like six euros. It was so expensive and it was so small. And now we're having tartiflette, which is cheese, potatoes, and ham for pudding. <laughs> pudding. Yeah, cheese, bacon, potatoes. Yum. Mm. So we're now queuing up to go on the Cars road trip, which used to be the studio tram tour. Now they've changed it into Cars and made like cut it in half because they're building a frozen land. We've just seen like the, we knew it was happening. But we've just seen like the plans in the studio, so that's very exciting. How excited are you? So excited. Ah! Um, we go on this ride and then what do we do? <laughs> The Route 66, the shares of full of the technology. We're making a short scheduled stop here in the game. Yeah. 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 So we just got off Cars Road Trip and like I knew that they'd made it shorter but it's literally you just drive, go into like the special effects thing where they drop the water and the fire on and then you drive back. But they haven't like added anything else. Like they've just put Lightning McQueen and Mater around the side but like not really doing anything. And the queue is so long. Bit of a flop that one. Bit of a letdown I would say. I agree. And it used to be so such a good ride and like all about special effects and this one was literally just like no reason why you would be in a canyon. <laughs> and I never say anything negative about Disneyland ever. And that it was, was just, fun though. Like that, when you tip. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, I wouldn't rush back to it today. Now I want a churro. I'm on a churro hunt. The corner section around like the Ratatouille ride, like the little French corner. Oh, there's so many people. Is so cute. It's got so many of these like little cut things, little food stalls, and they've just got the best food. So we had our sandwich here earlier, they've had a Claire's, there's a vegan place, there's crepes, pretzels, like little wine bars, like it's so cute. And then all around the rest of the studio, they've got a Greek one, Spanish one, Portuguese one, Italian one, with like little bits of cuisine, and it's just so yummy. So if you're looking at, for something that's not burger and nuggets and stuff, this this be the place. Now I want my churros though. Cars are ready to race, and Slinky Dog is standing by to chase his tail. <laughs> We've just left the studios, we're going back into Disneyland. 
We're just walking past the Pink Hotel, the Disneyland Hotel, but it's under renovation. It's got like cranes on it, and I don't think it's open for a couple of years. So I think they're really redoing it. It's got a new roof on this one, and they're laying a new roof over there. This one's like a darker pink, and this one is a nice paler pink speckled tile. Which is my favorite hotel in the entire world out of every hotel ever. Poor oh, Zoe, it's very sad about the situation. <laughs> so we just want to go in there and have a cup of tea. Maybe when it's open I'll have, I'll, I'll have, have a baby to bring back. No, sorry, not invited. <laughs> uh, I'm not planning on having a baby anytime soon. And it's just, not invited! Just saying if it's in a few years and hopefully. I hope it watches back nearly... one day and it knows not invited from me. <laughs> I would invite the baby. Hydration station. I have to force Zoe to drink any water. She's cross with me that I bought her, her own bottle of water. But it says 30th... This is what? Well, what? But it's a 30th anniversary bottle, so she's happy. She gets to keep it. <laughs> Yay, forever! <laughs> so, they've made some beautiful spinning things for the 30th anniversary. Um, they're very nice. Some are better than others. My favourite is Pascali. I shall show you that now. They have some really niche ones and some ones that uh, just shouldn't be here. But here's Pee Wee. Pee Wee! Right, let's show Pascali. <laughs> here is Pascali, the best one that has been made. Sensational. like a blow up in lockdown like they've painted everything you see like everything just looks freshly painted and so nice for the Lady in the Tramp meatballs and a garlic bread, Coca-Cola and a tiramisu. <laughs> and this cost us 30 euros. Yay! <laughs> so he's wanted this tiramisu for three years. So it's good as you remember. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. It is so hot today. In about 20 minutes, we're gonna watch the Shine Brighter 30th Anniversary again. Dance Parade again. But we are um, about to do the rope bridge thing. What's it called? Adventure Isle. Tarzan's Little House. It's not called Tarzan's Little House. But yeah, we've never really, this is between um, Pirates of the Caribbean and what's it called? Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones and Thunder Mountain. So I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna explore. I'm so hot and so tired. <laughs> so he's like drugging me. On <laughs> on coca-cola to have energy but i've been off caffeine i haven't had any caffeine since january and i am literally like oh i love disneyland <laughs> that was before you had the caffeine <laughs> <laughs> oh we made it she's lasted she's on that might be able to see mark twain this bridge spectacular spectacular Pee-wee! 
I want to eat in this restaurant and it's booked up like solidly the whole time we were here. I think people make restaurant reservations like two months in advance. One day we'll be organised and eat there. Funky fact. Funky fact. again, maybe do Autopia again. <laughs> New favourite round. And then I really want a chocolate beignet and I just I just know that they'll be sold out by this point. Oh we could do Mark Twain. And then um, I'm not going on that stupid river boat again with you. Oh pitch black. Ooh. Work out what we're gonna do for today so I've lost it. Hello sweated it all off. <laughs> We're going to try and find some food in Disney Village and then come back in for the show, Disney Illuminations and Disney Delight. Delight. Uh, we're going to try and go to the Rainforest Cafe. 
I keep calling it Planet Organic. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get a table at the Planet Organic. Um, but I don't think we'll get in there, so we might just end up in McDonald's. But I just, I, I think it's my old age. I just don't want any more chicken nuggets and chips. Like I, I want like something else. But we'll see. I've just been on Thunder Mountain, and I feel like I'm just going to pass out and die. I'm too old for this now. I just want to sit on a nice, comfortable boat and go around a nice, comfortable ride. That's not about age. <laughs> Always been like that. <laughs> The older you get, the worse your motion sickness gets, apparently. No, I feel it. Fact. I used to be like... And now I'm like... Oh, I'm exactly. So they were just playing Taylor Swift, and now they've stopped playing Taylor Swift. The second I got my camera out to film that they were playing Taylor Swift. So, do with this information what you will. <laughs> we're in the queue for Planet Organic. No. <laughs> A rainforest cafe, and the second we get in here, Zoe realizes she doesn't like rainforest cafe. She's always like, Let's go to rainforest cafe, like such a vibe, such, such a theme. And she gets in, she goes, It's creepy, I don't like it, it smells weird. Like, oh, don't steal anything. <laughs> Creepy tree. Okay. Oh. Oh, I look like I'm in Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi. This message to future people when you edit this. I love you. I'm in Rayforest Cafe and we're having a week. Um, miss you. Love you. You're the best sister in the world. Thanks for my trips. I'm the best with you and everything. And I love you. So we've both gone for the Rasta pasta. <laughs> so we're just trying to eat a pasta in the rain to <laughs>
take off. So we've just finished watching Disney Dreams and now we're just gonna walk back to our hotel, waiting for the queue to die down a little bit, and Zoe to have a final dance on her last night. Show me. I think you should get it. Yeah, I think I should. We've had to take our shoes off. <laughs> We're in the hotel, don't worry. Zoe did actually start wearing hers <laughs> to take taking hers off outside. <laughs> so this is our room in Sequoia Lodge. We've got two double beds, two chairs, two chairs, and then all of our mess. Yeah, I mean I would recommend staying here. Do you like it? I would recommend it very much. The walk is nice to walk back from the park. I mean, we've been so lucky with the weather, so it's not exactly been a brutal walk, but um, yeah, it's like a 15 minute walk back through Disney Village and the hotel's really nice. I love in Disneyland hotels that they give you two double beds. It's just oh, dreamy. Divine. We've never stayed in this one, but it's cool. I think it's got a pool as well. We haven't made any use of the hotel at all. We've literally been in it to sleep. That is it. Haven't had breakfast here, haven't eaten here, haven't even explored. I'm sure there's nice facilities. Wouldn't know about them. Because we've just been in the park the whole time. We're gonna get up early tomorrow and pack. I literally have to go to sleep because I cannot explain how tired I am. But first, I need to have a shower because I'm sticky. I've still got sun cream on me and just a bit grubby from sitting on the floor. All right, love you, bye. Good morning from day three. It's our last day. We're going home today. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, I <don't> know. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Attention, Space Rangers. This is Star Command. Where are we? Baz. Baz. Your shield will be lowered automatically. It's automatic. Please face forward.
alone in the mayonnaise. So it's a bit gross. <laughs> if I haven't mentioned already, Zoe calls me Pee Wee. So I am Pee Wee. So Pee Wee! I literally just put my phone and the case in the mayonnaise and like this one was having an absolute <laughs> disaster. Going home in a few hours. We've just had lunch at Casey's Corner. The best. So chicken nuggets and a hot dog each and some chips and a Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is my new life again. <laughs> It really just pumps you back up. <laughs> now we're heading to do the story tale ride. What story? <laughs> Storybook ride again. I really want to go on Autopia. We've done Buzz twice already, but we'll probably try and do it again before we leave. Zoe wants to do Thunder Mountain again. Oh, oh, oh. We've just done Pirates. Might try and see the Lion King show, but I don't know how realistic that will be before we actually have to go and put Zoe on a train back to London. Good luck. I'm staying in Paris. <laughs> Also, I've got changed again. I wore a dress earlier to shoot a little photo, but I'm now back in my Disney outfit for day three. I'm just wearing uh, shorts I wore on day one, shorts. And Zoe's lent me this like vintage Disney tea from Urban Outfitters Revival. Oh, no, it wasn't even Revival, was it? It was from New York. New York. Zoe is sporting a pink t-shirt, vintage, with a pair of Levis shorts. Who's there? Is it Geppetto? Pair of Levi's. Um, but <laughs> niche, niche um, Disney fact for you both. Oh. So whenever we go on Pirates of the Caribbean, when you get to the very end of the queue, it splits no, in two. Tell I'm gonna tell people. We're not gatekeepers there. I am sorry. So we haven't learned anything. <laughs> but basically, the queue splits into two, and you can choose to go in a, a left lane or a right lane. And the whole week, we've been trying to work out which lane is quicker. So we like pick someone on the opposite side and see who gets in a boat quicker. And we were so sure that we were right. And if you pick the left lane, you get in the boat faster, which technically you do. But the right lane puts you in a boat in front, if that yeah. makes sense. So you get off, you end up getting off the ride quicker. So your ride time in total is less. We sound like so so if you go in the left Losers. queue, you get a longer queue, longer ride time by about 10 seconds. Yeah, you get to sit in the boat for a longer period <laughs> of time. You don't see anything for longer, but you sit in the boat at the end. But if you're in a hurry, go in the right queue, yeah. because you're more likely to get off the boat first. This won't make sense to anyone else, but we'll watch this video back and remember which queue to go in, <laughs> depending on what vibe we need. A longer boat ride or a quicker exit? Piglet has recovered. Oh, you want to go and see Piglet? He's recovered from his accident. Oh. He's Seven Dwarfs, which is my worst ride in Disneyland. It's but raining. Going, oh, it's really raining. We're going on Thunder Mountain now. So we've got a fast pass, or what's it called now? Premier Access. Premier Access. To Plan Organic. To Plan Organic. To Thunder Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. It's raining, which is not ideal because we're going to be soggy for the train. But we're doing that, and then I really, if I can't find a chocolate beignet somewhere, I'm going to scream. <laughs> now my third day and I haven't had one yet. Oh Zoe, I don't want to go on the Thunder Mountain in the rain. <laughs> it's 
and then <laughs> we're gonna be and then we're soggy. going on pizza pan and then we're going home it's all over folks yeah. unless we have another night <laughs> that's a joke it's not a joke but she's got a train ticket on her phone so she knows that she's leaving <laughs> maybe it's a fake <laughs> hello so we've done Thunder Mountain and actually it was all right, but it was pouring with rain. And now we are having chocolate beignets. We got one. Yay. Yay. And a chocolate chip, a chocolate cookie as well, their 30th anniversary cookie. So we're gonna have those and then it'll probably be time to go to Peter Pan and then go home. We need to go to a couple of shops as well and get some gifts for people. Me. Um, <laughs> this is your gift. <laughs> This is the cookie. Doesn't look very pretty, not very many stars on it, but this is the 30th anniversary cookie. And there's the menu. It looks kind of like you. With your ears. A bit closer to me. Closer. Up. Yeah, there you go. Just watch your face. <laughs> Zoe's crying. No, I'm not. She's just had a little sock. We are just getting on Peter Pan's flight and then we too are journeying off to another land. Leave, we're leaving Neverland. No, I don't want to at all. My best friend is Pee Wee. She's very sad. I'm very sad. It's a sad But I have, to, I have to hold it together otherwise we don't leave. <laughs> What are they playing? Feed the bird! From Meza. <laughs> right, we've lost Zoe. She's completely sobbing. <laughs> they were just playing Zoe's favourite song, which is Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. She's crying. Still carrying around my cookie. We're now going to try and avoid the parade, which is a sentence I never say, but we don't have time to watch it, so we need to walk around it because it's on at the moment. We're going to go and try and get some bits and pieces from the shops. We're going to try and go and get a pen or something from the shops because that's all we can afford at the moment. And then head back home. Okay, we're just about to leave. It's just been such a nice three days. The parade has been delayed as well. We were going to try and watch it as we left, but it's literally delayed, so we actually have to leave, um, which is quite good. It's just about to start, so I need to get Zoe out the, out the park now. <laughs> but we've just had the best time. I'm absolutely certain that this is just a magical cure for anything. mental health. It's done wonders for my brain. When we first got here, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to feel the same way or it's been so long since we've last been here and I've had such a miserable couple of years like am I going to love it as much and is it going to mean the same childhood happiness feeling but can confirm that it has and it's been lovely yes. we've had the best time and thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and we love you guys and hopefully we'll be back here soon for another Disney vlog yeah let Jess know in the comments if you like more Disneyland vlogs <laughs> because then we'll come back and I can come back so he wants to come back at Christmas and so Yay! <laughs> there's a Christmas parade and everything so you'll get to see that so just peer pressure her in the comments <laughs> if you did like the vlog it would mean so much to me if you could give it like a thumbs up and subscribe and please do leave us a comment about your favorite bit of the vlog your favorite ride your favorite experience at Disney which Disneyland you've been to anything we would love to hear anything from you and I love chatting to you guys in the comments so thank you so much for watching see you very soon and sending you some Disney magic Oh, bye. okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Mwah! Peace, Peace up, up A-Town town down. Down. Woo! <laughs> Never mind, we stayed for the parade. You have to do the piece up eight hand down without me. Why without you? I don't have anything. You have to do it. Give me this. Okay. Give me this. Okay, up. Give me this. <laughs> this. This is multitask. Okay, ready? <laughs> piece up, up eight hand down. Down. Woo! <laughs>